Chip Chip Crooners, welcome, welcome, welcome. My name's Donato and welcome to the Running Guru Show. Today is Friday. It's Daily Donato number 100. And it was due to be a celebration. A celebration of me having done this 100 consecutive days of recording a daily video and posting it on YouTube for your enjoyment. That's what it was meant to be until I got an email last night, yeah? Not a very pleasant uh, email, it's one of these things you don't want to get. And uh, let me give you a bit of a background because there's going to be a lot of you guys who've never seen me here on YouTube and you're going to be wondering what was with that title that you put on there. Um, yeah, Boston Marathon. I've been, for those of you that know, those of you who don't know, I'll try and explain a bit of background. Last year I ran Boston Marathon for the first time. And, uh, and it was quite an experience. As you may see from the link above, you can watch the race, yeah, and see it was quite an experience. So I'd set myself a goal to come back and run Boston Marathon and put in a, a sub three marathon, a sub 255. So it would qualify me for the Berlin Marathon 2020. That was the plan. So I'd already booked my accommodation around 10 months ago uh, to go to Boston and to do Boston Marathon. So that was the plan until I got a uh, email last night from Expedia where I booked my hotel through telling me that the hotel have cancelled my booking. So I have no accommodation now. That's right. Yeah, they've cancelled my booking just like that. So yesterday would have been five weeks when I arrived to uh, Boston. Now, for some of you may not think that's not a big deal. Find alternative accommodation, away you go. Yeah, that's, that's, what, what, that's what I've looked for. Yeah, I've looked at the alternatives and uh, you can imagine the price of the hotels uh, with this shorter period coming up to Boston. So uh, to say I found it quite upsetting and uh, made me angry would be an understatement. So I've had time to think and ponder over what's been, uh, what's been sent to me and my options, yeah. And um, there's a number of options that I have. Number one is the, uh, I, I, I don't go. Yeah, I, I don't do the Boston Marathon. That's option number one. Um, because personally, I don't feel I should be paying the extortionate hotel prices that they are now. You know, it's bad enough when people know and the prices are already hiked 10 months ago and they're hiked up to another level. I don't feel that's, uh, that's fair at all. And it's wrong, yeah, it is wrong. Yeah, so uh, that's number one, I don't go. Number two, there may be a good Samaritan who has a spare bed somewhere in uh, Boston and, uh, and I go and stay there. So the plan was I was going to be arriving Thursday before the marathon and leaving on the Tuesday. So a fair bit of time, that's what the uh, plan was. So who knows, there might be some good Samaritan out there um, to do that and that, that would be great. And option number three, having done the training, I started training in May last year for this race. May last year, I know I'd done Chicago Marathon, but that was part of the training, yeah? I went out and ran an amazing race and had a great time in Chicago but I've been really looking forward to this Boston Marathon. So basically, I'm now looking at other options and uh, seriously not looking at doing Boston at all, which is really sad. Um, you know, yeah, for some people might think, oh, first world problems, what, what's the deal? Um, but this is the deal, you know, the deal is that for me, I'm, I'm currently without any accommodation in Boston for, for probably the biggest marathon race in the world because some hotel decided not to honour my booking. Now, I'm not going to go into the whys and wherefores what this hotel may have done or has already done. Um, I'm not here to debate that. Uh, at the end of the day, they can do what the hell they want and that's the way it is, yeah? And we can debate that uh, if I cancelled the hotel at this short notice, I'd be charged a fee, admin, blah, 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 and I'd be way out of pocket. So are they gonna pay me any form of compensation? Are they gonna pay the difference uh, if I find an alternative hotel that's say 800 or 1,000 pounds on top of the price that I was already paying? Are they gonna pay that difference so that I can go and uh, take part in this race as, as an athlete that's qualified? I'm, we could debate this forever. So feel free to leave any comments below, any words of encouragement, whatever you want to say. It's, it's, a, it's a free world here. Leave your comments below and you can be as expressive as you want. Keep it clean. Um, but something arrived uh, in my uh, message box this morning. Unbeknownst to uh, this friend, they didn't know that, uh, that the accommodation had been cancelled. 
Um, but I'm going to read to you uh, the quote that was sent to me. And I'll read it to you and, and you can see this on the screen. Um, the universe is always speaking to us, sending us little messages, causing coincidences and serendipities, reminding us to stop, to look around, to believe in something else, something more. Yeah, that's, uh, that's the quote. So maybe, you know, without getting too philosophical, maybe I wasn't meant to go to Boston. I don't know. But, uh, but right now, I am seriously looking at a number of alternatives and uh, will be pursuing those. Um, because at the end of the day, you know, I, I have limited budgets. I've not got endless bank accounts, whatever money to thrust at these things. I've been fortunate enough to ram Boston. You know, uh, do I need to do it again? It'd be great to do it. I know as many people have been doing it year after year after year. That's what the plan was for me, but maybe that's not for me. That's not meant to happen for me. And, uh, and as I say, I've uh, calmed down considerably from what's out. I have messaged both Expedia and Boston Marathon on Twitter. And to this moment, I still have not had a reply from either of those organisations. I did email Expedia um, this morning because I didn't get much sleep last night because I was stressing over what am I going to do. Um, I did email Expedia at 6am this morning. I was up pretty early. Still no reply to that email, asking for them to offer me alternatives. They've not come back with any alternatives. So, yeah, it's, it's, it's all up in the air. It, it's really upsetting. And, uh, and as I say, I, I'm very angry. I'm very angry about this. And uh, I'm sure you've all got stories of this happening to you. And, uh, yeah, the, these things happen. Um, hotels, organisations are allowed to do this. They're allowed to get away with it. Uh, I, I think it's totally wrong. It's despicable. And uh, whatever their excuses, I mean, uh, what I read there, I, I, I've, you know, if, if it is true, I'm sorry, hotel, but I've seen way too many people and I won't reel off all the stories here. I'll maybe do it in the next vlog. I'll give you some live examples of what's happened to people I know at marathon majors and how they've been fleeced and cheated with their accommodation as well. It's going on. It's not good. It's not pleasant. It really tars what is supposed to be a great experience. And, uh, and for the vast majority of people, it is fine. But unfortunately, I've been caught out on this one and I'm not, I'm not happy, yeah. And uh, if you've been following my channel for a while, you know how I am, yeah. So I'm keeping this positive and this is positive. Believe me, this is positive. So um, I welcome your feedback. And uh, yeah, vlog number 100 days where I continue to do the uh, daily vlogs as well. That's, that's another <laughs> debate. But hopefully I've proved to you guys that you can start a new habit. This started back in November doing the daily vlogs. 100 consecutive days of recording something that's all related in terms of the running and what I do and sharing my knowledge and experience to you guys. And I've been having some amazing, amazing feedback each and every day from a lot of you people. And it really warms my heart and makes me feel really good. And that's what keeps me going a lot of the time. Yeah, I'm self-motivated and keep going, but it's great to have, you know, the boost and help and encouragement along as well. It's fantastic. So thank you all so much for watching this. And I look forward to reading your comments. And I'll be back tomorrow on Saturday. There's a bit of fluff flying around. <laughs> yeah, it is all a bit of fluff really, isn't it? Um, so uh, I'll be back tomorrow, give you an update. And uh, yes, on Sunday, I'm still continuing the training. The training doesn't stop. The training continues. So uh, I've got a little bit of run tomorrow as part of the warm up to the 20 miler um, race on Sunday. And uh, very much looking forward to that. It continues, yeah? The mojo stays. Nobody's taking that my running mojo away. No, no siree. It's staying here, yeah? In me, it keeps going. So thank you so much for your time. Look forward to seeing you tomorrow. Reading your comments. Thumbs up. Feel free to share this. I'd love you to share this across the social media and get feedback. Let's, let's, get, let's get the ball rolling. Let's get things moving because there's something not right at all about what's going on here. At all, is there? See you then. Peace out. Take care. Have a great Friday. Friday evening, Saturday morning, wherever you are in the world. Bye-bye.